how's it going bro this was the tech here with an all new video and yes i left the uh, up video recently before so i thought of creating this one uh i'm going to be telling you how you can use vtf edit to use these your uh whatever that is can see have created in game so i'm having up here that you can see that we created recently you can uh, just check it out in the video before that i made before so you can also learn how to create these custom skins and i'm going to be doing further more videos of moving more weapons up to and there may be weapon provided with more weapons before so in that link you can go on sg32 or maybe there are more than one i really don't remember the weapons that i'm having in it so probably this op uh i just simply got it from means my old one i made it before so i thought of doing one this and testing this gun in end game so i'm gonna do that uh first of all for that you're gonna need a software called vtf edit to convert these target files into vtf uh so i have already saved the target file if you open up at here for example if I go to file open and the target file that we named that test and so on so here's the file that we recently made so the map that's completely layer locked so we can't do anything to that uh, so the next thing you want to do is to open up the uh, VTF edit is given below in the description you can download that from there and simply start off so simply go to new file and click on new you need to import that test of uh, the target file open it up and let the settings remain as they are and click ok so when it's open it's gonna take a bit of time for opening so wait for it and you're gonna see the skin like this uh, maybe it's not the full skin i'm gonna be showing that that will, this will be showing but something like so so the next thing you wanna do is to simply go on and click on save and it's gonna be saving as vdf files you can use in desktop i'm gonna go into op and let's name it op group and i'm gonna name it test and i'm gonna save it once that done, uh, your VTF has been exported. You're gonna see it here. It would be off the test. So the next thing you only wanna do is to go in game and let's check out. Yeah. So once you're in game, all you need to do is first let, go to options and go to game settings and make sure that enable the developer console is enabled. Uh, it's uh, triggered by this column key. All you need to do is press the topmost key on your keyboard and that's gonna start something like this. And now all you need to head over is press a workshop underscore workbench press enter and you're gonna come into this one so there are a lot of options out here that you can try out such so name text or text is something different but the only thing we need to do is to ch choose our pattern so we have made for op so we're gonna go from none from here we're gonna choose to custom paint job and from here we're gonna choose the pattern and from here we need to uh, go to the uh, directory that our skin is so maybe I'm gonna go to C I'm gonna go to users, my user, and I'm gonna go to where it is, desktop, op, and the VTF file. CSGO only opens VTF files, so Targo won't be open. Simply click on VTF, and you can see that it's been applied to the skin of AK47. Well, that's not the skin that we've been using, we want op, so I'm gonna change this AK47 to op. And now you're gonna see there's still a bit more, and how you can fix that is down here. All you need to do is to click on hold and make sure it's X offset 0. Y offset 0 and rotation 0 and from here that you're gonna see that the skin is a bit worn off uh, you can increase this to get a better scare and that's gonna cause a lot more damage to skin but if you can change it to factory new that's gonna be the new uh, the real skin that you've been using you can see how many animations in game uh, like inspecting the weapon reloading the weapon checking out weapon, how weapon reloads and here's the pattern that we've been using and the UV chart that we've been using so in case I'm gonna check this roll what that's not working never to mind uh, what more you can do is to uh, instead of hold you can go to workbench that you can see the weapon uh, in workbench how it looks like and even on green screen but green screen I don't think it shoots much so workbench and hold will be perfect thing, thing to see how your weapon looks like and there are a bit of mess happening from here you can change it out from the pattern that we've been using simply go to pattern and check where we've been using the, that getting a fault or you can simply go on UV chart and here from we can check that we're missing these things and this and this one that we're gonna fixing around so last thing i want to say is to submit this file to wall if you are having it i'm gonna not be submitting it because it's not looking that good so first of all all you need to do is to save here and name the gun as it is i'm gonna name it op view and i'm gonna save it and once you that uh, save the weapon skin you're gonna get this uh, submit button enabled and once you do that you're gonna get here so all you need to do is to pick, uh, pick up some preview images like standing image like the official image of how your weapon looks like and browse it and then the workbench file that will already been uploaded and from here you need to upload the source target file that been, uh, is located in C or wherever you, you have saved it 
in case you say uh, inside a wall one then it's going to be test.tga and the normal source is the that's the image of tga file in the normal you're going to put the source and it's about the same as the tga is and from here you need to do the wall texture format there's a vtf file and that's going to be all blue and just simply click on uh, uh, i have read the workshop and all the things you can name the title the gun whatever it is you can name out the description and simply click on publish there's going to be submitting it to valve and once that done the submission will be checked by valve and will issue it too so that was for today make sure to like and subscribe check out more of the weapons i'll be releasing more videos on csgo soon make sure to like and subscribe this frosty tech and i'm sending out